On everyone, so today we are looking at lead code number 283, question called move zeros. And what we want to do here is we're going to have an array and we want to move all the zeros to the end of the array, but we want to do this in place without making a copy of the array. So we can't we can't just make a copy of this. We have to do this all in place. And you can see on line three here, we're going to return void, so it doesn't return anything. We're just modifying this array in place. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to approach this. You could use JavaScript um, methods that kind of make this easier. You could filter out all the zeros. Then what you could do is you could shift all the numbers to the beginning and then throw the zeros on the end. And uh, so that's one way you could do it just using built-in JavaScript methods. But I don't know if that's going to work in the context of an interview. So another way we could do this, let's just jump over here to the conceptual. So if we have 010312, 010, and 12, Another way we could do this is using a, a two-pointer approach, okay? So we can create a variable and we can call it last, last non-zero index. Last non-zero non index and we'll set that to zero. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to iterate over this array and we're going to have a variable i. Okay, and we're going to check, does it not equal zero? No, it doesn't. It does equal zero. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. Okay, now we get here and we say, does this value at the ith index does that not equal zero? It doesn't, okay? And last non-zero index is gonna be set to zero initially. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna set whatever the index is at last non-zero index to the current non-zero number. So this will get set to one, and then we're just gonna leave that one as it is, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and increment our last non-zero index i is going to continue forward, i equals zero, so we don't do anything, i continues forward, i now does not equal zero, so what are we going to do? We're going to replace whatever's in the ith, whatever the value is at the ith index with the last non-zero index, okay, so we're going to go ahead and replace this one with a three, we're going to increment this last non-zero index, and then we're gonna go ahead and increment i. Okay? And so now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna check, does the ith element equal, does it not equal zero? It does not. Okay, and our last non-zero index is at zero, one, two. This is where it's at. We're gonna go ahead and replace this with 12, and we're gonna, um, we're not gonna do anything there. And now we're out of the loop, okay? And so now what we have to do is our array now looks like this. It's gonna be one, three, 12, three, and 12. And our last non-zero index is gonna be zero, one, two. It's gonna be, we're gonna increment this one more time because we did switch it at the last one. It's gonna be three. It's gonna be right over here. And so now we just do one more pass in this array. We start at this three and we replace everything with zero. Okay. So that's the idea behind it. Let's go ahead and jump into the code. Before we do that, let's just look at time and space complexity. So we're making, essentially all we're doing is, is we're making two passes through this array. So our time complexity is going to average out to O of n. Okay, 
and our space complexity, we're not creating any more space relative to the size of the input because all we're creating space-wise is this last non-zero index variable and then you know our ith, ith variables. So our space here is going to be constant space. So that's actually really good. That's actually really, really good. So let's jump in here into the code. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, create our variable. Let last non-zero index equals zero. And now we're just going to iterate over the num. So we're going to say for let i equals zero, i is less than nums.length, i plus plus. And what we're going to check is if nums at i does not equal zero, then what we want to do is we want to set, set the value set that value at i at the last non-zero index at that place. So we're going to say nums at last non-zero index is going to equal nums at i. And then we're going to increment last non-zero index. All right. So now what we have is we have this array right here, but we need to fill in the rest of these with zeros. So we're going to go ahead and do a for let i equals, and we're going to start at last non-zero index. i is going to be less than nums.length. We're going to do an i plus plus. OK, and now all we're going to do is just set set the value at i to 0. And then we just go ahead and we don't even have to return anything. We just return void because it's going to be done in place. OK, let's go ahead and run that. And we're good. OK, so that is lead code number 283, move zeros. It's a fun little problem. And hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one.